Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher. I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege and honor to interview one of the great podcasters, Adam Posner from New York. How are you doing, Adam? Meher, thank you so much for having me. I am honored to be on your show. Thank you for being here. So Adam is a creative and digital marketing recruiter, a powerful connector, and the founder and the managing director of NHP Talent Group, and the host of the Pause podcast podcast a great podcast i recommend everyone to watch it every day you do a lot of things on that podcast uh, adam so my first question before i start is can you tell us more about yourself and how you end up being the host of the the boss cast podcast yeah it's it's so 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 long story short i i'm a born and raised new yorker something that i take a a ton of pride in mm-hmm. i spent 15 years working in advertising and marketing and then about six years ago i made the career and life decision to pivot careers into the world of recruiting and recruiting for marketing and advertising jobs so i'm recruiting for jobs that i know the 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 career change really tapped into my passions what i do best and my superpowers uh, as far as the podcast about 2 years ago mm-hmm. i had this itch that i needed to scratch yeah. i had this itch where i i saw a bunch of other people doing podcasts and i'll tell you something pretty mm-hmm. honestly i was like i think i could do a better job than them <laughs> i think that i could have a better podcast and i gave it a shot and yes. it's been 2 years and it's been incredible 130 episodes we're approaching our 2 year anniversary the show oh, has nice. taken off it is incredible i've had such amazing guests on and honestly the show for me is my masterclass my mm-hmm. mba program because when i have the opportunity to spend an hour with each one of my guests and learn from them and absorb the knowledge that i've gained is tremendous yeah. and you give it away freely for everyone to watch and i watch it every day and great Thank tips you. and great speakers you had so my first question for you is you have done a lot of uh, interview a lot of guests so what are they telling you in terms of future of work and future of recruitment especially after covid what's happening yeah it, it, it's fascinating so it's an interesting of what i'm hearing and what i'm seeing mm-hmm. and i think this really translates to what a lot of leadership is saying we want to be more open we want to give folks you know a choice they could either come into the office they could stay home they could be a hybrid thing but what's really going to happen my friend is once we get back to people being safely able to get back to work let's see if those leaders really keep their word let's see if they really say hey you know what yeah i i know we said we were going to do a little bit more yeah. remote work from home but we've got this really expensive lease and we have this office space yeah. and we'd love for everybody to come back in but what they're really not saying is that it's a trust factor that they mm-hmm. want to see people it's accountability. So it's going to be really interesting to see that. The other piece that's really fascinating is prior to COVID, the majority of roles were geo specific. I am recruiting for a marketing role in New York because it has to sit in my New York office. Yes. Now I'm recruiting for that same New York company but the candidate can sit anywhere in the country because mm-hmm. we're remote right now. Yes. So it's fascinating to watch that dynamic unfold and see how that translates when yeah. we get back to whatever that new normal is. Yeah. But in a positive note what that has done mm-hmm. is it expanded the candidate pool. Yeah. It's made competition actually insanely stronger. <laughs> yeah. Right because in the previously you were competing against folks that were just in your geography. Now you're competing sure. against the whole the whole United States yeah. or whatever your geography is in the world. Uh it's fascinating. It's yeah. really been a crazy 12 months in the recruiting world. And the other piece that I talk about too is a lot of folks are saying, you know, unemployment is through mm-hmm. the roof, which is true. Yeah. But it's also important to be specific about which industries and which sectors we're talking about here. For example, yeah. hospitality, travel, sports, retail, down obviously down. all down yeah but the roles that i recruit for in direct to consumer e-commerce marketing subscription based yeah. marketing anything digital performance marketing media Boom. it's through the roof yeah and i agree with you i i also spoke with this with other people like i'm wondering the the managers or ceos had 24 or 48 hours when covid hit to go remote and they're being uh i feedback uh, being empathy all those things I I'm also want to see what you said like once we go back will they keep their promise or would they say oh I need to manage you more or right. you're doing different now, you know I think that will be very interesting to see what's having to happen I'll be honest with you I'm done with the buzzword empathy because I think people are just saying it as a they're just talking it's lip service yeah I'd like to see it really come to fruition Yeah, I agree with you. Thank you for those great tips, Adam. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Adam a couple of questions and I'm going to post them over the week. So it will be kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, you can like whatever uh, in question you like and share with your audience and tune in next time for another great question with Adam.